Welcome to Excalibur Systems Introduction to Arring 429. This introduction is designed for engineers asked to work with Arring 429 for the first time. While it assumes a basic familiarity with communication systems, it does not assume any knowledge of Arring 429 itself. In the early days of digital communication or civilian aircraft, which took place in the 1980s, various equipment manufacturers developed their own communication specifications. Several of these specifications were gathered together in ARING 419. Eventually, a new specification was written based on lessons learned from these various earlier specifications and called ARING 429. ARING 429 is the predominant specification used on civilian avionics equipment to this day. Unlike most modern buses such as Ethernet, Firewire, and others in which users are connected to hubs or switches rather than directly to each other, ARING 429 equipment must have a direct connection from each transmitting device to one or more receivers. All data transmitted over ARING 429 is in the form of 32-bit words. Typically, a word contains a single engineering value, though occasionally secondary values may be included as well. Each word contains an 8-bit label, at least two bits indicating the sign or status of the data, and a parity bit. Some labels also contain a 2-bit source destination identifier, or SDI. Any remaining bits are used for the data. The label is used to interpret all the remaining fields. Each type of equipment typically only requires between 5 and 20 different labels. Since there are many different types of equipment, each equipment type can redefine the labels for its own use. Now for example, label 372 on a heading reference system would be interpreted as containing information relating to wind direction. On a GE engine control system, the same label would be interpreted as containing fan speed data. If a transmitter is connected to a multiple receivers, it can use the SDI bits to identify which receiver is to process a particular word. For example, if a transmitter is attached to three wheel assemblies, a particular data word may be directed at a single assembly and it will be ignored by the other two. Alternatively, an SDI of zero will be accepted by all three assemblies. If the SDI is not needed, these two bits may be used for data. The data field may be encoded in one of several different formats. The specification describes which format to use for each label. These formats are binary, binary coded decimal, discrete, or ASCII. Now binary data is most familiar to people used to working with computers. It may be signed or unsigned number. If it is a signed number, the lowest of the SSM bits, bit 29, will be used as the signed bit. Bit 28 will be the most significant data bit and the least significant data bit will be determined by the number of significant digits called out in the specification for that label. The number represented by the field is called the raw data. To translate raw data into useful data, which we call engineering units, we need to get more information from the specification. This information includes the units and range of engineering values to be applied to the data. 
For example, label 366 contains a range of raw data between 0 and 32,767, but an engineering unit range of 0 to 4,096 knots. That leaves 8 times as many raw data values as engineering values. We interpret this to mean that each raw value is worth 1 eighth of a knot. BCD encoding uses sets of bits to display decimal data. Values from 0 through 9 can be coded using 4 bits. Values from 0 through 7 can be encoded in 3 bits. If the maximum value of latitude is 180 degrees, the top digit can only contain a 1 for values 100 degrees or higher, or a 0 for values below 100 degrees. Therefore, the top digit only requires a single bit to represent it. For example, the value 75 degrees 59.9 minutes is represented as six groups of numbers. The numbers in this example are 0, 7, 5, 5, 9, and 9. The specification tells us that six digits are to be transmitted with a decimal point before the final digit. Discrete values are not numbers, but rather a set of values. A single bit discrete may be interpreted as true or false. A two-bit discrete, which can encode four values, may be interpreted as off, low, medium, or high. Discretes are often transmitted together with BCD or BNR labels in which the BCD or BNR value does not require all the available data bits. ISO alphabet number 5 or ASCII coding is used to send text. The sign status matrix are 2 bits in BCD labels and 3 bits in BNR labels used to indicate sign or direction and also used to indicate problems on the transmitter side. Since receivers typically expect data to be sent at set intervals, if the transmitter is encountering hardware problems or undergoing self-test or just doesn't have data to send, it must seed the labels anyway but can use these bits to indicate that the data should not be trusted. Parity is a common error detection mechanism used in computers and particularly in communication systems. By guaranteeing that the sum of all the one bits is always odd, it gives the receiver a way to check for transmission errors. If a transmission error causes a single bit to change values, this will also cause the parity, or sum of all the one bits, to turn even. This will be detected by the receiver. Although the receiver won't know which bit was changed, it will know that the data can't be trusted. Arring 4 to 9 allows two speeds to be used. On any given wire, only one speed may be used. The transmitter and receiver must both be programmed to use the same speed. The two possible speeds are 100 kHz or 12.5 kHz. At high speed, there must be a minimum gap of at least 40 microseconds between words transmitted on the bus. At low speeds, there must be a minimum of 320 microseconds between words. The specification defines a range for how often each label must be sent. If a label must be sent at least every 40 milliseconds, a receiver may malfunction if it doesn't receive that label within 40 milliseconds following the previous transmission. That is why transmitter must send labels even if they have no new data to send. They may use the SSM bits to indicate that the data within the word is invalid. The Arring specification contains lists of tables describing labels. This example describes label 260 when transmitted by a digital fuel gauge system used on the Airbus 310. The label describes how much fuel is currently in the fuel tanks. 
The maximum amount of fuel that can be measured is 131,072 pounds. 15 data bits are used to convey this data. Since 15 bits provides a range of 0 to 32,767, the value in the data bits must be multiplied by 4 to get the actual number of pounds of fuel. Note that the resolution is a function of the number of bits and the range. This label is expected to be transmitted at least once per second and at most once per half a second. ARING 429 uses a return to zero technique for coding bits. That means the signal begins each bit time at zero volts and either rises for a one or falls for a zero. ARING 429 uses a two-wire differential signal so the second wire is the complement of the first. If the first rises, the second will fall. It is therefore critical to know which wire you're looking at in order to properly interpret the data. During the time between words, both wires will show zero volts. We have now seen what each of the 32 bits in an ARING 429 word is used for. We have also looked at what binary, binary coded decimal, discrete and ASCII coding are used for. We have discussed low speed and high speed transmission and discussed the intervals at which ARING words are transmitted. You now have enough background to read the ARING 429 specification or a specification provided by an equipment manufacturer to start working. Good luck and let us know if we can be of any assistance. If you would like to see a list of our ARING 429 products, please visit our website. If you have any questions or comments, you may find our contact information at our website, www.mil-1553.com. Thank you.